So, now let's see. We should probably, let's go ahead and handle our drawing first be, before we actually do our, um, you know, invoke that. Um, I'm going to go down to my drawing sub here again because there's a little bit more that we need to add here. Uh, we've handled selected items, but what about the items? Uh, you know, we want to actually draw the graphics of the items that are in our backpack, don't we? So, um, we're going to come down below our selected item draw here, and this is we, where we're going to uh, test draw our item. And I wish I had a huge palette of items to choose from and loading values properly from some file, but uh, we're going to just kind of make these static, uh, referencing that little uh, medical herb graphic I made. So, um, what we're going to do is um, reference the items list that we added at the top here, our list of items. And each one of those will have contents because uh, when we loaded the screen, we added the contents of those, right? From our backpack. So, let's say if items on the xy coordinate from our loop dot count, or I'm sorry, if it is not nothing, we first want to check and make sure that uh, there actually is an item in the slot so it doesn't uh, you know see the null value and crash on us when we try to draw otherwise uh, you know if it tries to draw with a null item it's gonna throw an error at us so we'll say um, globals dot sprite batch now when I draw this I am instead of referencing um, the texture directly. Uh, this is where I'd like to get you familiar with uh, drawing the texture by its alias, you know, as an image asset. Um, this is what we'll be doing more in the future uh, when we're using, um, you know, tile maps that are actually embedded in our map files, um, so we can get away from those uh, texture preloads that we've been doing. Uh, anyway, I'm going to say textures. Now, if I wanted to, I could just throw an item here, but uh, you know, I want to kind of show you how this works. I'm going to say fetch image, and the uh, asset ID that I want is the asset ID of the uh, item. Remember, we added that as a as a property, so we'll say items x y wherever we're at in our loop. And I want to grab the image asset property from that uh, from that item, and so it accepts that value as a string. Uh, this function uh, fetch image takes this string and returns the associated texture 2D. That's what it's doing in that asset list. So. Um, we want to draw the graphic. Uh, in this case, that's you know we're going to use static values here. So I'm going to say, uh, what graphic do we want to draw? Um, that little twig, our medical herb, and the destination will be a new rectangle. And we're going to draw that at draw x, and draw y, and it's a 16 by 16 graphic, but I'm going to go ahead and blow that up, uh, scale it up to 32 by 32, uh, so it fills the entire 32 by 32 box that we created for it. And um, the source rectangle is going to be whatever we provided uh, when we created that instance of that item, which we did in the, our player class, if you recall earlier. So I'm going to reference that items x y dot source rectangle, 
And for the color tint, I'm going to use white because I don't want any tinting over that. Hey, now it's happy. Okay. So, now if, if there's a stack, um, if it's a stack, we want to see how many of those items are left in the stack, right? Um, so if we use an item from a stack of 16, we want it to drop down and, and tell us that there's 15 left. So I will say if items dot, I'm sorry, not dot, if items at xy dot count is greater than zero, remember that's the item count, then um, we're going to draw a string indicating, so we'll say globals dot sprite batch dot draw string. And the font I'm going to use, uh, I've loaded a uh, small font, but it's still too big. So I'm going to end up having to throw some extra parameters on here to scale it down. So um, what I want to do is draw the count of that item directly from the items count list. So I'm going to say uh, item xy dot count. Got the stack count. And I'm going to go ahead and throw plus one on there so it always, um, you know, gives us a, a, a value above, um, you know, zero. Uh, if, if it is on the last one, it should say that it, you know, it's no longer above, the count is no longer above zero and therefore, you know, don't show that, that value. We only want it to draw this uh, string if there is a quantity greater than one in there. Or, yeah. I think I got that right. <laughs> it is late and my brain is shutting down. New. No. Okay, what did I mess up here? I missed a... I got my open parentheses, closed parentheses. Oh, okay. You don't need a close there. Um, so where do I want to draw this? Um, I kind of want it to be down at the bottom. You may have to adjust this a little bit for yourself, uh, depending on where your thing is drawing. I'm just going to try to draw it. Draw X plus 25 on the X and plus 20 on the Y. Um, that'll kind of put it down in the bottom right hand corner. You know, since it's 32 by 32, I'm just going to put a little tiny number down there. Uh, so I'll say new vector2 um, draw x plus 25 pixels to the right and draw y plus 20 pixels down. And the color of that text I'm just going to set to white. Whoops. White. All right. And um, now, once it goes through this, we want to uh, increment our i value here. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't scale that, did I? Definitely want to scale that. Sorry, I'm going to back back up here a minute. Um, <coughs> because that's going to be a, a really large text. I'm going to, um, I mean, it's not really large. It's a small font, but it's still not small enough. Let's see, rotation. I don't want any rotation. Uh, origin, I was going to say nothing. Uh, for the scale, I'm going to set it to 0.8. And sprite effects, um, 
none. And finally, our layer depth, I'm just going to set to zero. I should accept those parameters. Okay. Uh, let's see. Just kind of thinking here. Did I miss anything? I feel like I missed something important. <clears throat> yeah, my brain is shutting down on me here. I we created this uh, variable here, and now I can't remember why I did it. Uh, seemed seemed like it had a great purpose, but now it does not. Okay, so I will go ahead and hit my play button and see where we're at. And, oh, look at that. I have items. Fantastic. All right. Well, pff, apparently I didn't need that, did I? Seems like I described it in great detail a little bit ago. But that's what happens when you lose your mind. <laughs> okay. Awesome possum. So, um... Maybe we should just fill in this item description for fun. Uh, that's just another drawstring, so what I'm going to do is come down here and grab this so I don't have to retype it all. Come back up here and paste it. And, um, you know, we don't want to try reading from an item that doesn't exist if there are no items in our backpack. So again, we're probably going to want to specify that uh, if items x or y is not nothing, then go ahead and do cool things. All right, what do we want to draw here? The item description, I'm supposing. So, let's see. Um, draw a string, got a Verdana font. And this time I'm going to draw, let's draw the name and the description. Say name and BBCRLF. I'll do two of those and V B C R L F and items X and Y dot description. So I'm just gonna drop it down two lines and then draw the description. Um let's see, drawing X I don't think I want to do that now, do I? Thinking somewhere more relative to the screen's position. Let me do this. I'm gonna do uh, pause X and pause Y and let's just see what happens when we do that. Oh, look at that! It is tiny, hard to read, but it's there when I select my herb. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so um, naturally just set this to a full size and change the color to black so we can see it on the background. And we will hit I. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. Okay. Now, before I had a little, um, you know, a little paper doll sort of avatar. All it was was a picture of Rad Marvin blown up on here. And we essentially have done everything except for item activation. So, um, you know, we have two of these in our backpack that we cannot use. I think what we need to do is uh, go ahead and set up a a method to invoke those items and that'll be done in the uh, 
handle input and what we'll do is we will invoke the selected item so let's do that